Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I am very, very excited because we will be testing out the new NARS foundation, the Light Reflecting Foundation. So it says on the packaging that this foundation is supposed to improve your radiance by 61% and it also will improve your skin tone by 93%. So I'm very excited for this review and first impression. So if you are looking into the new NARS foundation, hopefully this video will help you out on deciding if you should get it or if you should pass. I will do a very in-depth review on this foundation. I will also do a final checkout later tonight when this has been on for about 10 hours. So without further ado, if you want to see me test out these products and also what I think about them, then please keep watching. So I will go ahead and start to prime. Since I'm testing out a new foundation today, I will definitely use a primer that I know I can trust, a primer that I really love. It gives your skin like a beautiful luminous finish without making it look dewy. And I'm really obsessed with this primer. I love it. I feel like it evens out my skin as well. So this is my favorite primer. It is pretty much the only one I've used for the past two months. And as you can see, I'm loving it because I already used half of it. And now to the start of the show, I'm so excited that I finally have my hands on the new NARS foundation. So I picked up the shade medium four in this one and it is called Barcelona. And since my self tan is fading, I'm kind of a little bit afraid it's gonna be one shade too dark, but we will definitely go ahead and see. Maybe it will work perfectly. And here you can see a comparison with the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I really love that they made the packaging a little bit wider instead of this tall because this can fit easily in your makeup purse for traveling and it is also easier when you are stacking your foundations like I have. The long ones take up so much space in my drawers. So I really enjoy the packaging. This is one of my most loved go-to foundations. So hopefully this will be just as good. So I'm gonna start with two pumps. Oh, it looks like it's actually gonna be a perfect match. If you haven't seen the last video where I tried out the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, you definitely missed out because that was way too orange and it was kind of a struggle. So I'm so happy this is like a perfect, perfect fit for a first time. So my first impression of this foundation is that it kind of sets very quickly. So you have to work very fast with your sponge to get it evenly out your entire face. But my skin looks very, very good. So when I touch my face, I definitely get some foundation on my fingers, but it feels very good on the skin. It don't feel like I have a lot of foundation on. It kind of feels like my skin and it kind of has improved the texture and also improved the look of my skin because it looks very good. So I had to use three to four pumps to get it all over my face just because it sets very quickly. Even if you have a damp sponge, it is kind of hard to move the product around once it has set, but it looks very beautiful. It definitely even out my skin tone. I have a lot of redness right here and I would say this has a medium coverage it is definitely not a full coverage foundation and it also has even out the texture and pores I have around my nose area. But now I'm just going to add some concealer. This is the Dior Skin Correct Concealer. I'm going to add it to my under eyes a little bit on my chin area and also in my forehead. And I'm going to drag a line down my nose and I'm going to take the blended sponge again. So this will definitely help to lighten up the center of my face. I'm very impressed with this foundation actually. It looks very, very good. So once we have added all the makeup, hopefully everything will look very nice. So it is time to try out another new product and this is the Kimchi Cheek Set and Bake Powder. I'm very excited to try this out as well. Since I'm testing out a new foundation, I will not set my whole entire face just because I want to see how the foundation actually holds on the skin without setting it. But I will definitely set my nose, my under eyes, and also my chin area because those are the areas that tend to rub off and I also get a little bit oily in those areas. So here you can see the packaging. It looks very cute, very pink. It also comes with a powder puff right here. I love these for applying powders. And this powder is in the shade Banana, by the way, so you know it's not the transparent one. So I will use the Big Blender from Levy Beauty to set my under eyes very, very lightly. So 
I will also go ahead and set my eyelids. For my whole face, I'm actually going to take this side of the sponge, I'm going to dip it into the powder and then I'm going to press it down my nose area. So I like to press the powder down instead of just adding it with a brush. And this is kind of my secret to a flawless base. And I'm also going to take it on my chin. And I will go over with the big blender and kind of just erase the excess powder. And I promise you this technique by pressing a powder down with a damp sponge will leave your skin flawless and I really enjoy it. So I will use the Huda Beauty Tanter. Really love this one, so easy to blend out. And I'm actually gonna use the shade Fair. I'm gonna take my Snatch Contour Brush from Levy Beauty, which I love, and I'm just gonna carefully drag a line. A little bit and just dab it onto the face. I'm gonna take a little bit under my chin area. I really enjoy this. It is so easy to blend out and the color is gorgeous and I have been obsessed with this. It has replaced my Chanel cream bronzer for so long, like the first time I tried it out. So now I'm just taking the damp sponge again and I'm just dabbing over the product and we're gonna blend all the lines out. And as you can see, it is so easy to blend this out. So when looking in the mirror, I can definitely see that the foundation is still intact, nothing has moved, nothing has lifted off my skin, which is great because I am loving the Huda Beauty Tanter. So it would be a shame if this were not mixing well with the foundation. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which has been one of my go-to for so many years. We're just gonna go on top of the Tantor and kind of deepen out the shade a little bit and add a little bit more depth to the face. And for this, I'm using the angled contour brush from Levy Beauty, which is so soft and it makes the job so easy. You can apply your blush with this one, you can apply your bronzer, you can apply pretty much whatever you want. I'm also going to take a little bit down the sides of my nose, not a crazy amount. I just want a little bit of tan going on. Next, I'm gonna dig into the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Go. We're actually gonna use the highlighter. So I will take another big blender. We're gonna dig into this highlight. So this is not like a beaming highlighter. So if you want that, you will definitely have to go on top with a more beaming highlighter, but it just highlights your face so beautifully and leaves that perfect sheen that I really love. Gonna take some down the bridge of my nose. So since my base is pretty much finished, I will be back and do some final touches at the end. But I will go off camera, do my brows, do my eyes, and also add a lip color. And then I will be right back to let you guys know my review on this foundation and also how it looks after a couple of hours. And then I will be back at the end of this day to let you guys know my final thoughts. But so far, everything looks very good. Everything looks seamless. Everything looks smooth and you can't actually see any redness or anything peeking through. It has been around 30 minutes right now, so I'm excited to see when my whole face is complete, how I feel about it then. So I'm back, I've added some lashes, added my lips and also the eyes. So this has definitely been my go-to for the past week since I first tried it out. I feel like it actually makes my makeup stay on so much longer. Really recommend you to check it out. I also really enjoy the scent of it because it is not too much. It smells very fresh and very natural. So I will go ahead and just add a ton of this. So I will definitely keep this on for the next 10 hours and I will come back later tonight to let you guys know my final thoughts and review on this foundation. But so far I must say my skin looks so great. It actually reminds me a lot of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation except that this is a little bit less weighted so it feels very natural on the skin 
And now that it has sat for a while, you don't get a lot of transfer. Everything looks so flawless and so beautiful. It looks like your skin, just a better version of it, if that makes sense. Like it don't look like I have a lot of foundation on. It definitely even out the skin tone. Nothing has lifted when I apply the other products. Even my smile lines looks very natural, very good. Compared to when I tried this out, I could see that my smile lines were a little bit enhanced, but it didn't set in to my smile lines so this so far looks so good i'm very impressed i guess this will be my go-to for spring and summer so for now i will go around the house i will do my dailies i will clean and organize and just go about my day and i will be back in around eight hours to let you guys know my final thoughts for this first impression but so far so good i give it 10 out of 10 right now because my skin looks flawless it doesn't look heavy it feels very natural you can barely see that you have anything on it just looks like a better version of your skin so so far 10 out of 10 for me and i will see you guys in a couple of hours so i'm now back as you can see the lighting in here is a little bit different it is 10 20 p.m which means that this makeup has been on for 10 hours and 20 minutes and I am so impressed you guys there's no like dry lines or smile lines peeking through I haven't powdered the whole day just because I wanted to see how this actually lasted so I have gotten a tiny amount of oil coming through right here but it still looks absolutely flawless and also on my chin area you can see that I have a little bit of oiliness except from that everything looks so flawless like nothing has lifted everything looks so good even my smile lines looks perfect so usually when i wear a foundation it tends to like sink into my smile lines throughout the day this haven't done it so impressed and it looks so good on my forehead as well i have no oil in here and still it feels very good on the skin and there's not like products coming off when I touch my face and I feel like this is a foundation for everybody even if you are a little bit dry I feel like you will love it just because it hasn't like clenched to any of my dry patches around here in my forehead everything looks very natural very good and very flawless so I definitely would say that this is a foundation if you are dry if you are normal or if you are oily but if you are on the very oilier side I would definitely recommend to use a mattifying primer and also set your whole face i only set my chin my smile lines and my nose as you saw and everything looks so good so i'm very impressed 10 out of 10 for this one would definitely recommend you to pick it up if you haven't so hopefully you enjoyed this first impression review on this foundation since it is 10 30 and i'm going to work tomorrow i will head downstairs take away my makeup i look very tired i am very tired so let's take away the lashes. And here you can see kind of my everyday makeup case. I have so much stuff that I just throw on my face. And this is definitely coming with me down to the bathroom because I will try it out tomorrow as well for work. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, I love you guys. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.